Ben Roethlisberger has retired as the uh, quarterback of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, this is, you know, it's something that was fully expected for a very long time. We have said our piece about Big Ben, et cetera. Um, you know, it has kind of stayed out of the news, out of trouble, et cetera, for the last, eh, you know, couple of years, three years, whatever it is. Oh, it's uh, been about seven, eight years maybe since his last his last real issue. Yeah. An, an, an investigation. It's so, been a while. Uh, it, it for the most be, part, it might be ten years. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah, it's been a long time. It's been a long time. For the most part, uh, he has stayed out of the news for the bad stuff. Uh, the only real thing that anybody's talked about is how old he looks on the field for multiple years now. Uh, has dealt with a slew of injuries and yet uh, retires as a six-time Pro Bowler and a two-time Super Bowl champion. And I don't know that either of the Super Bowls were because of him. I think more so it had to do with that defense. But uh, alas, here we go. It is what it is. Uh, I guess the, the first question would be, who do the Steelers turn to next? I, I would. There's a couple of options, right? You can go and get a free agent veteran that you know that you can trust the offense with. Or you can go into the draft, and I don't know that this year's draft is a uh, great one for quarterbacks, but if you got somebody you think you can get on the cheap, is that what the Steelers would like to do? Which direction do you think that this thing goes? I think they're going to draft somebody because that's what the Roonies have done my entire life. Um, you know, they've, they've basically had, you know, two coaches and and, you know, just a handful of quarterbacks to really lead this team our entire lifetime. So <clears throat> that's that's what I think they'll do. I don't think they're going to be the team to go get the uh, Watson or the Rodgers. Could be wrong about that. Been wrong before. Uh, it just doesn't seem to be their mantra. Um, they also don't seem to be a team that feels like they need an elite quarterback to completely blow everything up. This team is incredibly – incredibly well coached and a lot of talent on the defensive side of the ball. They still think you can win a championship that way. I do too, by the way. Um, I, I, I think Ben's been bad, like <laughs> real bad the last two years. And if they just had anybody that was half competent, I'm, I'm talking a, a top 15 out of the 32 top 60, like a top half quarterback. Um, they, they, I think they're, legit comp like competitors for the Super Bowl. Now, there's lots of turnover and churn uh with the roster um from year to year. And so will they be that this year? I don't know. Okay. I I'm not I'm not sold on their OC situation and and whatever, that's fine. Uh he he, he might stay, he might go. We'll see. Uh the man at the top, Mike Tomlin, you just have to trust. You have to trust whatever decision he makes. Uh, if they do go get a Watson or a Rogers or a whoever is the free agent, you know, you know, love, then I think they're all going to be a whole lot better than Ben was. Uh, yeah, most certainly. There's been a uh, multiple different places talking about the idea of Russell Wilson going to the Steelers, of yeah. Kirk Cousins going to the Steelers. Any of those would be better than what they had with Ben Roethlisberger, yep. right? Not, ben had some close. games. That that were great, like that he had he had big numbers in some games this year, but it, yeah, it was but none nothing of those to do with were him. Big numbers because he was great, right? Like these were like his depth of target in all those games are are, are like nine yards a, a throw, okay, at best or, or less than that. Yeah, I, I was about to say it might be like five yards a throw or six yards a throw, and and it's dumping the ball off to Johnson or, or or Harris or whatever, and those guys taking it for 35, 40 yards, sometimes 70 yards, because they're elite athletes, because they have unbelievable amounts of talent at the skill position and on defense. But but Ben wasn't actually good. How many games did he throw? Because I don't follow the, the advanced metrics, all this stuff. But if you look at, like, interceptable balls oh, it that should have been caught by the defense – <laughs> but the defense just didn't. His interceptions could be tripled, okay? Oh, and yeah. I know that that happens, and that's that's true for everybody, that everybody has dropped balls by the defense, and that's why those guys play defense. And I understand all that. 
nobody threw more than Ben the last couple of years. Nobody. Every game, I just believed he's going to give the other team a chance to catch the ball and to take it to the house. Um, and and sometimes those guys just didn't make the play. No, I think you're. I think you're right about that. The guy that I would like to see, since I am the resident Steelers fan here, I want to see what they can do with Malik Willis. I want to see if they could actually get him. And I don't know if you would have to use a first round pick on him. Uh, oh, I think you're going to. I think so too. I think so yeah, too. Yeah, no, because you're, it's, going, you're going to have to use a first round pick. He's a massive, massive talent. A lot of upside, uh, but he's one well, of those that, players that very much Lamar Jackson esque, right? That means they're moving up, though. Oh yeah, they'd have to. They'd certainly have to. Uh, the fact and that this team made the playoffs. They, have they ever done that? They have. Um, oh, maybe I think but they it's not often. To get Ben, right? Yeah. So okay, it, it's so right. well, it's, it's not often. A long time ago. So yeah. it, it when when you are in a dire situation, because you are not going to go in to next season with Mason Rudolph as your starter. Like you I, I, you just you just can't. No, not if you want to be competitive. Uh, and I believe that Mike Tomlin understands. Like he, not, not that he understands. I think the whole organization wants to be competitive on a year-in, year-out basis. Yes. And where we didn't think that they would be very competitive this year, they made the playoffs again. Like, yep. I just, it, I don't understand how they continue to do it, uh, but you get a guy behind center that is competent and, and maybe a superstar, and there's no telling what this franchise can end up doing over the next eh, three, four, five, however many years, uh, especially if you get one on a rookie deal. Com- completely agree with that. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.